Hey everybody, welcome to the wallet tutorial for the Dusk Shin testnet. Today I'm going to walk you through a little bit how the wallet works. So let's start it up from the command line here with dot slash testnet. So the first thing you want to do, once the wallet starts up, you'll connect to a few of your peers and you'll start synchronizing. So what you want to make sure is that you're at the tip of the chain. How you can do that is by using the show logs command like this. Uh, you'll get access to the internal logging uh, that's happening inside of the node. And you want to wait for a message that says something like block received. Um, like that. So if, it's, uh, if the network has been running for a while, it's going to take uh, between a few minutes or a few hours to synchronize your blockchain at first. You'll see a lot of these messages at the same time. And once these uh, slow down, like you see on my screen, they happen once every, let's say, like 15 seconds. Uh, that means you're, uh, you're fully synchronized and at the tip of the chain. So let's hit enter now to get back to the shell. So if you don't have a wallet file yet, you can type create wallet and then you specify a password that you want to use to, uh, to encrypt that wallet file with. Or if you already have a wallet file, you say load wallet and then you use the same password that you use to create it like this. And then you should see uh, a public address appear and wallet loaded successfully. So now that we've loaded the wallet in, let's uh, synchronize our blockchain and check our balance. So use the sync command to download the blocks into the wallet and then we use balance to check our, uh, our dusk balance. So you can see we have a little bit of dusk in our wallet. So I'm going to show you now how to, use, uh, how to use the wallet to make transactions. So if you want to send some dusk to somebody, you type transfer. Then you specify an amount. So let's say I want to send 10 dusk. Uh, you specify an address. So for now, I'll just copy my own in there. And you give the password that you use to encrypt your wallet file so that you can sign the transaction. And there you should now see a transaction hash, and that should go to your nodes mempool, and it should send it out to the rest of the network. And then it should only take a few seconds for it to be included in the block. So next up, if you want to use your Dusk node to participate in consensus, what you want to do first is you want to download or build the blind bid binary. Uh, and then all you have to do is just run it. I already have it in my folder right here. You just use dot slash blind bid, and that should start it up. Once you see this message waiting for content to read, that, uh, that means it's running and you're ready to go. So back to the wallet. If you want to join as a provisioner, what you do is you first type start provisioner like this. Oh, I have the, the backspace, the backslash right there. So let me retry that. All right, so this should start up all of the code that's needed for you to, uh, to participate as a provisioner. What you want to do next is you want to stake some Dusk so that you're actually uh, going to be elected to vote. So first off, let's again sync the wallet like this. Then we type stake, uh, an amount of Dusk that we want to lock up. So let's say 100 Dusk. Uh, then you specify a lock time. So this is going to be the amount of blocks that you want to lock your dusk up for. And that's going to be how long your stake is going to be valid in consensus. So the maximum amount of time you can do right now is 250,000, like this. And lastly, you want to enter your password so that you can sign a transaction. And once you see this hash, it's been sent out to the network. You wait uh, a few seconds for that to be included in the block, and then you should be able to, uh, to vote and participate in consensus. And lastly, if you want to join as a block generator, what you do is you send the bid first. So let's sync again. Then we type bid, uh, an amount of dusk. So again, let's say 100 dusk. Your lock time, just like with the stake, 250,000. And the password to sign a transaction. Now this hash that it spits out, you should note this down. Because what you want to do is you want to wait for this to be included in the block. So give it like, let's say, half a minute. and uh, after, that's, uh, after that's done, you type start block generator and you paste the hash in. So there you can now see the block generator module started. Uh, last off, if you want to follow the progress of consensus, you can use the show logs command like this. And you can again see all of the internal logging and you should start seeing uh, logging messages that are related to consensus and that way you can sort of follow what it's doing. All right, so that should be about it. Um, if you have any other questions, make sure to join our Discord channel. Uh, most of the development team is active there, so if you have any questions, you can just uh, feel free to ask them there. Um, all right, thank you for watching.